Well, Connor, happy new season. Welcome back. How was your break? What did you get up to in your time off? Um, yeah, it was a, a nice break, quite a short one. Um, obviously, with my, my knee in that, I was in a, in a brace for a little bit, but still managed to get away on holidays and, and you know have a break and stuff, so that was important. And uh, went home for a little bit to Ireland as well, which I like doing. Sister got married, so I um, had a little bit of celebration for that. But uh, overall, it was uh, just a, a relaxing break and reflecting on the, on the season that just had been. Yeah, plenty of time to reflect. What's your feeling on it now, looking back? Um, obviously a great disappointment, I suppose, you know, that we couldn't get over the line. Um, you know, we, we came so close um, with such a, gr a very good group of players. Um, you know, it will hurt for a long time, um, you know, getting so close to, to getting the club back to somewhere close to where it should be. Um, it wasn't to be, so, you know, we just have to uh, get back, get working and uh, see what we can go for this, year, this season. We've spoken about your successful promotions in the past. How bit of disappointment was it at the end of that final whistle? Yeah, listen, it was it was really disappointing. Um, you know, I was lucky enough to have two fantastic days there before. Um, to get a third one would have been amazing, but like I said, it wasn't to be. Uh, we probably didn't play great in the first half, second half. You know, we we threw everything at them, but just couldn't get that goal. I felt if we if we got the first goal, we uh, you know to make it one-one, we would have went down to win it. But like I said, it wasn't to be. We can't really dwell on it too much. Yes, it is disappointing. It will hurt for a long time, but we just need to go again, really. Does it make you hungry? Of course, yeah. Um, you know, I, that great disappointment probably makes you, makes you, you know, want it even more. Um, you know, and we have to go for it again. You know, every single club will be saying the same thing at this time of the season. But you know, we've been working hard this pre-season, and like you said, we need to, to give it everything, really. How did you rate your season on a personal level overall? Yeah, I felt I did okay. Um, you know, I was. Pleased with 11 goals. Um, felt I could have had had more throughout the season. Maybe get to 13 or 14, 15 would have been a very good season. But you know, overall, I think I played 42 or something like that. League game, scoring 11 goals. Um, it's hard not to be pleased with that. You know, the goals are something I like to uh, I like doing. Uh, it's something I work hard for. Um, you know, so a total like that isn't isn't bad. But uh, you know, there's always room for improvement, and um, you know that will be something I'll be looking for this season. Yeah, that's how you judge yourself then. Those are the targets you set. Yeah, without a doubt, it's um, you know each player brings different kind of attributes to teams, uh, you know physical physicality or you know dribbling past people and something I bring to to the team is goals. So it's something I work hard for and you know um, I love scoring goals as a centre midfielder. So um, you know I'll be setting another target again and uh, one of the, one of the targets would be to beat my my tally that I had last year. It's great in times like this to see the gaffer and people like Huts commit to the club. Are you just as committed to the cause as ever? Of course, yeah. Um, you know, I'm very fortunate to be at a football club like this. Um, you know, it's great to see Hutz stay on. Um, you know, fully deserved his new contract. Was really, really good last year. Um, same at the Gaffer as well. You know, so hopefully we can build on. You know, getting very close last year, and hopefully, uh, you know, put another kind of group of players together to, to to go for another push. How key will all that experience be? Yeah, of course. You know, the Gaffer has, has a fantastic experience, and people like Hutz and and people throughout the squad. You know, no matter who kind of was here last year and aren't here now, you know, um, we've got a very good squad of players. That's it's a fact, really. You know, you look through our squad. We had a big, big squad last year. We probably won't have a big squad next year, but um, you know, it's it's time for other people to step up in, into people's shoes and you know, chance for young lads as well. Young lads won't get a, a better chance to break into a first team. So um, you know, yes, it, we've come off a disappointing season, not getting over the line, but it's in a it's an exciting time as well to see. Um, what young lads can kind of break through and uh, keep us older lads on our toes. Time to look forward now. How's it been the first week pre-season? Yeah, it's been good. It's been nice to get back. Um, you know, it's been tough as every pre-season is. The more you kind of uh, get older, the kind of the more you know what's what's coming. Um, you know, very hot out here as you can see. Uh, tough running, tough days. But listen, it's it's all a part of it. It's, it's very enjoyable at the same time. You know, you feel fitter as the days go by and. Just looking to get the games underway as well. Looking forward to that, you know. So we can. That's really when it kind of gets into gear and the days kind of pass by, um, counting down the start of the season. And how harsh on the body has it been? How much have the coaches pushed you this time around? Yeah, it's been it's been tough. Um, you know, we really only got kind of five or week five or so weeks uh, off. So you don't you don't lose a huge deal. You know, if someone was out in the middle of the season for four or five weeks, you don't really lose a huge amount. So you know, the lads are all in in good shape. You know, they've. They've worked really hard, um, and I'm, and like I said, everyone's feeling fitter by the day. And do you still see that same fight and desire 
in this squad? Yeah, without a doubt, you know, that, that kind of disappointment makes you hungry and makes you, you know, want to achieve something even more. So, you know, the lads that were a main part of the team last year, you know, are just as hungry as ever. And like I said, the young lads and the, and the lads who maybe might get more minutes this season will, will have seen how the season went last year and they'll be hungry to get involved and, uh, you know, push people on. And the objective, despite everything, remains the same? Yeah, it has to be, you know, you start the season off looking for promotion. Um, every team will say the same and we have to we have to be in the mix. Um, you know, like I said, no matter who's here or who's not here, we still are going to have a good squad of players. That's without a doubt. So, uh, you know, we have to go for the for the promotion um, and then everyone will be aiming for that.